De La, Masters Cup warm up round, turn. Oh, that was horrible. That's pretty good. That might be it though. 435, no problem. We'll see, that's a putt I think. 422. But it's a birdie anyway. I'm, I'd be psyched to get that in the tournament. I may, I may go with that forehand, but I'm not totally sure. We came in straight from um, Prague from the Konopiche day, so still getting kind of used to the time change. We're out here a little later, 12.30. And yeah, man, beautiful day, as you can see. That's kind of the thing about this course. One little root here, or a little stump there, and the reaction off the ground can be so different from throw to throw. just what I want. A little bit left of that tree and let the dart just kind of kick up and then sit down on the green. No, I'm the youngest, I think, at heart. I know, but are you literally the oldest guy on tour? Mm-mm. Who else is older than tourists? I wouldn't say Doc really tourists anymore. Yeah, Doss is younger than me anyway. Oh, is he? Yeah. Did Have you seen the On Tour series? This is him. Your this hair is, is short. This is Jeremy calling from the On Tour thing. What's up, everybody? All right, just had a great lunch here at Joe's. This is a day in the life of Nate Sexton, so next step is FaceTime and the wife, because that's something that I often do, because I got to keep in touch with her and see how her day is going. Uh, as I mentioned, 40, she's 40 days away from being due to give birth, so pretty exciting. Hey, Bree. Hi. We had a six hour layover in Frankfurt, so we we're trying to figure out like, middle names because he doesn't have one picked out yet so we're just going through a list like she's like Hannah's a really good middle name and uh mm -hmm. you know so we're throwing really? some out there and, and I said Steamboat <laughs> I don't know why Coraline Steamboat Sexton so. yeah uh, and I actually think it sounds pretty good it's definitely in the running I just think Coraline rolls right off Coraline Steamboat and Steamboat Sexton is perfect <laughs> does your wife know about this yet no no. Uh, we've been together since basically high school, so a really long time, but I was already really into disc golf and ultimate at that time. It just sounds good. <laughs> it just, it sounds, just sounds really good. Steamboat Sexton. Sounds good. Like if she plays a sport, that's going to be intimidating. What? Yeah. And, yeah. It, and it, as yeah. Every, you know, as they always say, I mean, you hear this daily, it's hard to stop a steamboat. People say that constantly. People are saying that. It's hard to stop a steamboat. She knew that she knew what she was getting into. I mean, you know, the other great news is if it doesn't work out for Coraline, <laughs> I think uh, a pair say, of you are getting married soon, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, Steamboat Macbeth, maybe one day. No, <laughs> I'm crying. I think Steamboat Sex. I think that I think that'll be a family name oh, over man. there. I have no fears of like, oh, I don't know how to be a dad. I know I feel like I can do it. I'm definitely ready. You know what I think? I think if we have Coraline Steamboat, then we need to have a Tugboat Macbeth. <laughs> Tug and Steam would be the greatest mixed doubles name yeah. ever. <laughs> oh yeah. If he names it Steamboat, we're in for Tugboat. <laughs> Can we count on that right now? Nope. Excited to be a dad? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely I am. It's like... It's a, it's a thing, it's something that I can't even really understand, I feel like, until it happens. And that's what everyone kind of says. It changes everything about your life. And so I'm definitely excited, looking forward to it. And um, it wasn't ever really anything that I, like I haven't been a person that's like, oh, I can't wait till I'm a dad my whole life. It's not been a big, huge goal of mine, but now that it's here, I am really excited, absolutely. It's the West Coast, it's, it's my speed. I mean, the natural food stores are honestly high on the list for me. Here we are, downtown Santa Cruz, at the New Leaf Market, one of my favorite stores that we stop by every year. So yeah, great natural food store. We're gonna show you guys the inside, get some drinks, get some snacks, get some sunscreen, because the weather is really nice here.
coconut, chocolate coconut bar, that'll do. Oh yeah, that sounds great. I'll pick that up on your, on Jamie's recommendation. There you go, let's get it. Yeah. And I'm not trying to get into this SPF 30. I'm going, I'm trying to go for the hard stuff. I guess we could do a 35. They don't really have anything. Typically I'm kind of like a 50 guy when it comes to SPF. Let's do it. Fastest chip reader in the world, boom. And done. I don't know how they do, but they do. We're at the West End Tap and Kitchen. We're celebrating this fellow's 32nd birthday. A lot of people might not know I'm actually the older Nate. I just turned 32, 13 days ago. Yeah, we always get to celebrate Nate's first, and then he'll let me know how it is. Yep, I usually kind of test the waters for him, make sure nothing, no big changes on the horizon. Right. And you know, this year again, for probably the 32nd straight year, no big changes. Yeah, he called me up and said, man, 30, 32 is awesome. <laughs> yeah. What's the best ball golf course, disc golf course you've ever played? What's I don't know. Best? I enjoyed the St. Jude one. Okay. What about Nasu? It's great. I think about with regular weighted discs. Yeah, it's been, it's, I've actually, only been there the one time. Japan? I remember it being awesome. Oh, ah. You guys still talking to Japan? Yeah. yeah. Oh. No. Doubt, like What's your best? What's your favorite? I'm trying I, to think I of really, some other ones. I gotta, I gotta say, Bayonet. Okay. What about that one, one Tupelo Bay? What was that? Yeah, I, I played one. Tupelo. I played. I was on the whole yeah. flying team tour back in the day, 2001. Uh, right, right, yeah. So we were playing all golf courses for all these. And there was a really sweet course in San Diego called Mission Trails that Reese designed. I, yes. That was one of my favorites. They say Goat Hill is pretty nice. Goat Hill is well. pretty cool. And there's yeah. Other, yeah. And there's even. I, I went there right like the last day they were yeah. open. With now it's Rizzo real. And all that. A, a hypothetical person is looking for Nate right. on the disc golf course. And then this other hypothetical person says, which Nate? Who are you trying to look for? And then you, the way you describe him is, oh, he's 32. Uh, he's the, the pro disc golfer. Keep going. Uh, he's, he's six foot, um, 200 pounds. <laughs> yep. He's got a 31 year old wife with a seven letter name, but she goes by a three letter <laughs> nickname. Uh, he's from, or he's from Oregon. He's got a shaved head. Yeah, he's got short hair, short hair. Oh, he God. was from one place, but now lives in another. Yeah, what is his name? What's his last name? I, I just right. know his name's Nate. He's the guy with the blue shirt with the red. Yeah, he's got the blue, yeah, he wears that dark blue shirt. Man. Then they go, oh, well, he's got a beard. Uh, or they say three-time world champion, and then it's like, okay, it's him. Right. But so it can take a while we, to get there. Yeah, it could take about, it, I think, what did we go up? We went up to probably 13 or 14 steps at one Yeah, time. yeah, yeah. And I figured yeah. it all out. Yeah, all different the sponsors. A watch. Oh, is he sponsored by uh, D-Curve D Glasses? D-Curve Glasses or... Hug you know, Lab yeah, or Lab whatever or, it yeah. is. You know, so... Yeah. Yeah. It's good stuff. Yeah, so we have, we have some similarities for sure. Very similar. All right, another year in Santa Cruz, and I'm really happy. Obviously, you know, one of the most mentally taxing tournaments we play every year. I go through a roller coaster up and down, but always happy to be here by the end, and always uh, looking forward to another chance to attack De La. It's such a tough course, but such a great city. And I really want to say thanks to Spin TV for following me around and getting a little taste of uh, what we do out here.